Everybody needs images for their websites, their blogs, their niche sites. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the best resource for getting high quality images in pretty much any niche. Now, if you've used places like Pixabay or Unsplash or Pexels, which are great resources to try and find images, you'll find they're great for certain things, but for a lot of topics, they just don't have enough content. But today's resource, while it does require a little investment, it's super, super cheap, you will find content on pretty much everything. And I guarantee when you use this, you'll never go back to your previous options. And you've probably heard of it already, and you've probably got an account with it already. But are you using the right version to get all of the graphics that you need? Adam Payne here with the Video Marketing Insider, and I create videos every single week which help people grow their online business without the hype and without the BS. Now, if that sounds like something that's interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out any future content. And now let's head on over to the best graphics resource around. So here we are over at Canva, and Canva is one of the best investments that I've made in my online business. It's super, super cheap. I believe it's about $12 per month. I actually pay in Japanese yen. And if you get the annual version, you can save even more money. But a lot of people stick with the free version, and I did for a long time. And the free version is great, don't get me wrong. But when you upgrade to Canva Pro, you'll wish you'd done it sooner because so many more things become available, so many more images and templates and elements that you can use. You won't really need to go to another resource. I use it for logos, thumbnails, images for blog posts, little graphics. You can see these little things here that I've created. And I'm not a graphic designer at all. I can't use Photoshop. I don't have a creative bone inside me, but I can use Canva and with Canva Pro, tons of things that you can use. And if we go over here to a little sales page that I've got, I'll just get these little images made in Canva and I'll put them on my sales pages and it just makes everything look a lot nicer. So let's just have a kind of quick overview of what you can do. And I'll show you a few things, but it's just impossible to cover everything. So if you click on create design, you can start typing something in. So you could type in Facebook, YouTube, PDF, or whatever it is you want to get created. And it'll give you all of the different options. And if you kind of scroll down, you'll see the image size is to the right. But if you don't know the image size, it doesn't matter. You just come over here and you, you know, just choose one of these things. Or you can come up here and you can see we've got templates here. So let's say you wanted to create a leaderboard ad. So I'll just start typing in leaderboard and it kind of comes down here. And these are these kind of long um, graphics that you sometimes see on blogs or niche sites. And it will bring you over to all of these different templates, the majority of which are pro templates, this little crown here which says pro, they're all they're all part of your um, subscription. If you've got the free plan, this all looks great, but you realize that most of them are only available on the pro plan. So you can either click on one and edit that as is, or you can start from scratch. And over here on the left-hand side, if you wanna just, you know, check ones related to food, you can click on food and it will bring up all of the food ones. Now you can't find every theme down here, but you can find a bunch of stuff. But I'm gonna create something from scratch. So we're gonna click on custom size and I'll go with this one here, 600 by 350 pixels and I'll close a few tabs off off screen and it brings this blank canvas for us to play with. And the best thing to do is come over here and click on elements. Elements to me is where it's all at. So if you're creating a blog post on a specific topic and you need images and you go to Pixabay and you go to Unsplash and you just can't find stuff, come over here to Canva. I'm just gonna put up here something random. Let's put skincare and we'll hit enter. So these are all of the different things. So if we click on photos, we've got these different photos and they go down really, really far. And you can just click on one of these and it will appear over here on the right hand side. So let's just choose a random one, for example. Let's click on this one here and we can drag it so it feels the whole white block. Bring this down here and then we'll just drag it over here. So what you could do, you could just download this image and then you could add it to your website and now you've got a nice image that you know will fit in between the text. You can call it skincare for women 
and then you can click on share, you can click download, you can choose a PNG or a JPEG. Now, generally speaking, although it says PNG is suggested, I'll choose a JPEG because the file size is actually you know, smaller, so it puts less stress on my website if I'm continually adding images. And then I can hit download and it will prepare and it will begin to download here and you can see it's already downloaded. So we've got that image there. I'll just get rid of that. What we can also do is we can change this image. So if we click on the image and then click on edit, we've got a bunch of different things we can do. You can remove the background if you want to. So that for something like this, this may or may not work well, but let's click on this and see. If you want to have a transparent image, you can click on this and let it do its thing. Sometimes it takes, you know, 10, 15, 20 seconds to work case by case. And when it's ready, we'll be able to see what it looks like and we can now have a transparent image. So you can see it's removed all of that background. Totally, totally cool. And uh, now we don't like it. Let's undo it and go back to what it was originally. We can scroll down here and we can add frames. So we could, you know, click on a laptop. We've got her in a laptop, don't like that. Let's click on back. And this is a great thing here, it's called photogenic. So if we click on see all, we can add different coloring. So sometimes we could add a little coloring filter so that it better fits with our site. Now with a person, you gotta be a little bit careful, but if it's an actual graphic and it's not in a person, it works really well. But if I was to click on this one, which they've called Sangri, now we've got this cool little filter on there and I think this looks great. And you can come down here and they got tons and tons of things. They got random ones, which you can play around with, Outrun, Minty, you get kind of get the idea. Let's click on back. You've got these um, options here and a bunch of other things here. So I'm gonna come back here to cancel and we're gonna, um, come back up here to where it says elements and I'm just going to remove this lady I apologize and we'll type in something else let's type in let's type in batteries something really random spell it correctly though that would work yeah go batteries so we've got again we've got the photos which are great but we've also got graphics and I think these are really really cool so you can just have these really cool looking graphics so you can click on this one and you could you know maybe make that bigger you could have that here could drag that to the side and then we could find another one click on this put that over here click on this one put that somewhere and you can just play around and you can add these little graphics to your um, images as well so sometimes these graphics look really really cool now obviously this as it is wouldn't look good so I could just delete that one delete that one bring this in the middle and then I can edit the image. I could remove the background as well and play around with it. And then I could download that image. Obviously I'd have to rename this to batteries or you could rename it once it's been downloaded. Let's come back over to elements and we'll get rid of this one. Let's type in something else. Let's type in fishing. Okay, hit enter. Again, photos, tons of photos tons of graphics we've also got videos which are really really cool we've got these videos that are various lengths so I could click on this video again I can drag and drop it but I want to show you something cool here so we've got the video which is great just bring that down a little bit a bit fiddly there we go bring it out to the top now of course you've got now we've got a video that how long is it 14 seconds long professional looking video this would look great. We could use this and we could import it into a video creation tool. We could upload it to Vimeo or YouTube and embed it on our website to just you know improve the bounce rate. But the great thing about this is I can click on share. I can go to download, but I can also download it as a JPEG. Now it, just, it gives you a warning, but it doesn't matter. We can download this as an image. So now if I hit download, it's going to take this. I should have renamed it, but it's going to take this uh, video and now if I double click on this and try and open it I've now got an image so the image was actually a screenshot of that particular video which is really really cool so you can actually use videos as images tons and tons of things you can do inside of this I just really really like it so let's click on this uh, to get rid of that we can duplicate so we can you know have multiple images that we can play around with in the same section we can even edit pdfs we can upload pdfs and we can edit them and i've got a video on youtube which shows you how to do that and i've just really been talking about the elements section 
but t so many times I've been creating articles, <clears throat> excuse me, for my niche sites, and I couldn't find any images on any other resources, come over to Canva, and I'm spoiled for choice. Even for the most random of topics, you'll find something. You've got all these other options down here. So this is where you can upload your own stuff. So you, I'm just gonna get rid of this one here, and I'm gonna get rid of um, this video, and you can upload your own thing. So you can see here, I've got some graphics that I've played around with, logos, cool things here, um, you know, logos, buttons, tons of different things that I've uploaded. So I can, you know, click on this, and I can make, make it bigger, make it smaller, play around with this. Text, wanna add text, click on text, and you can just click on one of these things. So let me just get rid of that. Let's change the background color to black. Then we'll come to text and we'll add some text. And I'm just gonna put in here demo text. Now with the text highlighted, we're then gonna click effects. We can change the text. We can play around with this. We can make it look really cool. We can change the coloring. So many things we can do. We can make it neon. Um, we can make it bright. We can make it less bright. We can curve the text. We can do all kinds of stuff. So it's really, really cool. And it's super simple to use. We can change the fonts, the sizes, the colors, you know, we can change the alignment, all kinds of different things. We've got the styling here as well. So we've got all of the different styles that we can look if you want to find what colors match with each other. If we've got a specific color on our blog or on our sales page, and we want to find a secondary color that will match, we can use this for reference got emojis, you know, so many different things. We've got this uh, Giphy option as well, which I don't use that much to be perfectly honest, but you know, we can, let's get rid of the text and oh, let's get rid of all of the text and we can just choose a random GIF. So we'll click on that, make it bigger, get rid of the background color, download this GIF, put that on our blog, so much stuff. So I, I can't recommend this you know, enough. We've got logos and if we click on more, we've got all of these other things. So if you want any of these things to appear on the left hand side, you just click on more, you find something that you want and you click on it. So for example, Google Maps, YouTube, 3D, Bitmoji, whatever you wanna use. I don't use a lot of these things, but you know, I for what there is here, more than enough for somebody like me. So if you've got a blog, you've got a niche site, you've got a website, you create sales pages, you run a YouTube channel, anything that needs any kind of visual elements, go to Canva, sign up for Canva Pro because it's light years ahead of the free version and it's super, super cheap, like I said. I'll leave a link below so you can check it out. Any questions, let me know. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification and go ahead and start using Canva Pro today. Cheers. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions or you need more clarification, go and watch the video once more. Over on the right hand side, we have some more trainings and reviews, so go and watch those as well. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already, and hit the bell notification. Other than that, ask any questions you've got below, and I'll see you soon.